This conference will now be recorded. Hi, everyone. So in this session, we are going to see how to generate UAR requests. OK, in the previous session, we have seen different sections, like what are the parameter configuration, how to enable workflow, and then what are the request types related to UAR, user access review. So in this session, this is the main thing. Once all the setup is done, how to do the how to generate a request UAR request so that is what we are going to see today so the path is to be followed is this nwbc access management scheduling background scheduler so it's a basically a background job it has to be scheduled So let me go to NWBC. Under NWBC, access management under that scheduling, and you have background scheduler. So click on that. So here, we need we are creating a background job basically now try to create so give a name to it i'll just give you ar1 schedule activity there are different types of activities we can schedule here so these are the different types but we are only concerned about now related to this one generate data for access request UAR review. Okay, that is first job we have to run. There is later another job related to UAR. You can see there are other two jobs related. First one is this. Second one is this. Generates new request for UAR rejected request. Update workflow for UAR request. So I will discuss the other two later. But let us see the first one now. Generate data for access request UAR review recurring plan no means i don't want to repeat it only for one time i want to run it start immediately yes generate uar for business rules okay so business rules if you have an idea of business rules concept if you want to see the review in the form of business rules then you have to select this otherwise system will break down the business rules into respective single and composite and those roles will be shown in the record in the uh, request so we will see that example when we when we open a request and see it so i'm not selecting it because i don't have any business roles created in my system right now so click on next so here you have a different options basically there are a lot of uh, options declared here you can apply some criterias like what are the criteria i want to run only for a particular system i want to run only for this system or i want to run only for a particular roles i can keep here a role naming convention like z star or a user id or a user type i want to run only for dialog ids so all such restrictions can be applied exclude expired users expired roles and locked users this should be yes so we won't ex exclude them we don't want them to review it i don't want to review the person who is already expired that's the reason i am excluding those so such things uh, you can save it so i am saving it as a variant save Now go to next. It is only reviewing it, whatever we have defined. Now click on finish. So once it is finished, the job gets triggered now. You have created a 
scheduled successfully so the job has been scheduled so let us see the job now so here you can see the job is uh, currently in the planning phase it will stole slowly convert into complete phase so you have to click on refresh and look after some time it is completed already because if you have very less number of data it will run faster but if you have more data it will definitely take time okay so this is the first job you have to run so this will start to generate the data let us, let us go to the background jobs here if we have any data behind this one this is the job i ran which just finished i want to see the results of it yeah this is the job log total number of users one total number of assignments one extraction from erm completed erm means brm requested to be grouped by role owner because we have selected the configuration parameter reviewer to be a role owner admin review is configured as not required yes i did not define the admin review one uir request has to be created request generation started no coordinator found for role owner one request generation completed okay so what is this coordinator concept and admin concept we will discuss that separately so there is it says there is one request got generated one uir request has to be created let us try that total number of requests created is one job su completed successfully okay now i want to see that request i cannot see this request until and unless i have to run another job now which is called as update update workflow so go back to the background scheduler it's already open in the earlier screen create another job now it is called as uar update i take it as one the name also update workflow for uar request recurring plan no start immediately yes and then click on next finish there are no filters for this you have created a schedule successfully close it so this is also complete okay now let us go and check in the background jobs do you have any data behind the date UAR update view results we don't have any results to be displayed here now let us see whether the, how the requests are generated that requests are generated under access management access request administration search requests so by default it is always access request approval workflow process id on the top you have to change it to user access review workflow and then click on search okay i think it is not generated request is not generated because of that admin and coordinator issue right so we'll see that gen uh, searching of requests how the requests are generated in the next session but uh, we have to see first that admin review and coordinator point of view we have to ensure that it is not facing any problem because the request is not getting generated here that's fine but this is the method how to generate a access request from nwbc point of view so these are the restrictions part which we have seen first it comes in the planning phase then it gets finished so this is the log how it got generated so i told you there is another job to be generated as shown below which is update workflow for uar request and this uir request is completed so how to search for uir request that we will see in the next session 
so we have to take care of these two like coordinator point of view no coordinator found for user so for these things i will take care and we will see first first we will see how to define a coordinator for these users and then we will come back and try to search the request okay right then so thanks all of you we'll meet you all in next session again